What's going on ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your Zebo mod to the latest version or patch. I've seen a lot of questions in the Zebo community about this, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video on it, uh, just to clear up any confusion there is. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is head over to the internet and go to bit.ly forward slash Zebo 737. This link will bring you directly to the X-Plane forms and onto the uh, Zebo mod page. Now if you scroll down to the download links and click on the Google Drive, it'll bring you right into Zebo's folder. And if you have not downloaded the full version and done a clean installation, go ahead and uh, check the link in the description below. I'll also have a little card for my video on how to do that. Um, so right now, the best thing to do is sort by last modified so that you can see uh, the most recent version, which it appears to be 3.35 uh, version 12. What we're going to be doing is right clicking that, clicking download, it's gonna ask me what I wanna do with that file. Depending on what browser you're on, it may or may not do this. It may automatically put it directly into your downloads folder. I want to save it directly to my downloads and we're going to open that folder. And we're done with our Internet Explorer. So what I'm gonna be doing is dragging that file right into my backup folder uh, where I keep all of my patches and everything good like that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put that in there. I'm just going to use um, this file name that I have um, whenever I do uh, all these so that I can distinguish between everything in my own way. And this is version 12 that we're on. So we'll go ahead and put that and change the 9 to 12. And as you can see, I have that right there now. So all we need to do now is go into our X-Plane folder or wherever you have that installed. For me, that's on a separate storage hard drive where I store all my games in large files. Head over to the aircraft folder, extra aircraft, and then into your Zebo mod folder. What you wanna do next is copy all of these files right here inside of the latest patch and just drag them right into the Zebo folder. It's gonna ask you what you wanna do with all those files because there's gonna be a little over 130 files with the same file name. So what you wanna do is just go ahead and click replace and it's just going to overwrite all the files there. So the next thing that we need to do, close out of all of this and just make sure that it loads up properly. So we're gonna go ahead and open X-Plane and we will be right back once everything loads. All right, so we are going to go ahead and just set up a new flight See, here's my Zebo mod. Um, let's see, let's, let's try this. WestJet, I've never used the WestJet um, library. And we'll go ahead and start with the engines running just so that everything is on and we can check and make sure that everything looks good. We'll go ahead and start the flight and I'll be right back once this loads. All right, and as you can see, we're loaded up. Everything looks like it is working just fine. Uh, we're going to make sure that some of my preset views are working good, and it looks like they all are. Everything appears to be working. All right, so now that everything's working, we are good to go, and we'll go ahead and end the video with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out any links I have for any other videos in the description below. Also, like I said, the video for how to install uh, the full clean version of the Zebo mod will be included in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Josh, Limitless Pilot.